Three local teams can now get the rare opportunity to call themselves medalists after representing the U.S. in the first ever international solo ice dance competition here in America. If you've ever been to the Palm Beach Skate Zone, you may think it's just your typical ice skating rink. But inside, there's a coach. Four, one, two, three. Teaching students the technique of solo ice dancing. We have a new discipline in figure skating and it's called solo dance, where instead of couples dancing together, it allows the skaters that don't have partners to compete on their own without having to jump. Coach Steven Belanger has set a gold standard for his three skaters. Amal Israelova. Lucas Appel. Milena Otero. And on May 2nd, at the first ever solo ice dance competition held here in America, Israelova and Appel brought home gold. It was a huge honor to win for the United States and it was honored also to do it with not only my training mates, but with my closest friends. For Pale, his gold medal was nearly snatched away from him after his first routine. So on day two, the West Palm resident was on his A game. Ultimately, extra element that I did, which actually completely invalidated one of my whole elements, so I lost a good chunk of points there. Fellow gold medalist and 15-year-old Armala Israelova was filled with nerves, but quickly shook them off, skating her way to a gold medal. It was an amazing experience. Once you get in the zone of, you know, doing what you love to do and presenting what you have for the audience as well as the judges, nothing really matters anymore except your passion for the sport. Technique and timing, those are two huge factors in the sport. A 17-year-old, Melina Arturo, was arguably one of the most skilled skaters on the ice. However, it was a last-second hiccup, in fact, the fall, that kept her from getting the third gold medal. I actually made an error during my rhythm dance, which cost me quite a bit of points, and I definitely think that was the main reason why I was left with the bronze. Now the future gold medal hopeful says she's going to use the emotion of failure to propel her to new heights. I definitely want to improve my scores in both my rhythm dance and my free dance at the next competition, which is actually in two weeks in Estero, Florida. So that is the next short term goal. At Palm Beach Skate Zone, Kendall Hyde, WPTV News Channel 5.